Hello, you're watching National Cuisine on Kazakh TV. Today we will get acquainted with Tatar cuisine with the help of our guest, Tatiana Baimuratova. Tatars were engaged in agriculture. They grew fruits and vegetables and kept livestock, which greatly influenced Tatar national cuisine. Tatiana, thank you for coming here today. What dish are we going to make? It is called yakmish. Let's show our viewers how it's done. We start with the dough. The dough is based on milk. This dough is very easy to make. We add a little salt. Can I help you with anything while you're busy with the dough? You can slice the onions for the stuffing. This is yeast-free, unleavened dough. Could you tell us about Tatar national dishes? Well, we have a lot of flour-based dishes. For holidays we make chak-chak, yakmish and kakri. What holidays are those? Like all Turkic nations, we celebrate Nowruz. We also have a holiday called Sabantuy. When do you celebrate Sabantuy? It is celebrated after crop sowing. I'm done with the dough for now. It should sit for a while. Tatar flour dishes are mainly steamed or baked in the oven. For example, when marriage brokers come into the house, they are offered balish or tikmash. Tikmash is broth with meat and finely chopped noodles. Only after they taste tikmash, they can proceed to the next course. I have chopped up the onions. What's next? Potatoes are next. They were boiled in advance. Let's add some butter. Are we going to mash the potatoes? Yes, we are. Here, let me help you. We will also put in the sliced onions. So, we have discussed the holidays and the dishes. Let's talk about culture. What do you do during holidays? Tatars are famous for their parties. Tatars are very lively. They love to sing and dance. I know that they love humorous songs. Yes, we have a lot of those. Could you sing something for us? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a singer. Don't be shy. Sing for us. We will listen. <laughs> what is the song about? It is about a young girl who is sitting by the window. A young man walks by. He is impressed by her beauty and wonders who will be the lucky fellow that marries this beautiful girl. What a beautiful song. I pictured a celebration and people in national costumes circle dancing. Here, we have mashed the potatoes. And now let's add some milk. Mashed potatoes are ready. Let's put them aside for now. It's time to roll the dough. As far as I know, national dishes are made in large quantities for holidays. Many women come over to help the host with the cooking. It turns into a fun and cheerful process. 
Do we roll the dough thinly? Yes, try to make it as thin as you can. I was once invited to a dinner by one family. I saw the host's daughters roll the dough. And what is the right way to do it? The thinner the dough, the better. A girl who can roll the dough very thinly will surely grow up to be a fine cook. Oh, how interesting. We're almost done with the dough. What's next? We will fry the dough slices in the pan. Without any oil? That's right. We'll just put them in a hot frying pan and slather them with oil when they're done. In the meantime, let's talk about traditions. Many Tatar traditions are similar to Kazakh ones. We celebrate weddings in the same way. When a new baby is born, we celebrate Shildehana. Tatars also have this tradition. Our traditions are very similar. We are making yakmish. It is made from potatoes, unleavened dough and butter. I learned to make this dish from my mother. I used to watch her cook and that's how I learned. And now I make it myself, for my own children and grandchildren. This is how the dough is baked. It will be ready soon. The thinner the dough, the shorter the baking time. We have not burned the dough, even though we weren't using an ounce of oil. I will definitely make this at home. So, the baking part is over. Is this butter? Yes, we have melted it because it must be hot. We place potato stuffing on top of the pastries. We fold them in half and slather them abundantly with butter. The dough will absorb the butter and soften up. If you decide to make this dish, you must remember to keep the dough and the stuffing hot. Our dish will be ready soon. Can we taste it now? It's best if you let it sit for 15 more minutes. All right, we'll wait. Our yakmish is ready. What a great dish! Mmm, it's delicious! Tatiana, thank you so much for coming here today and sharing with us this wonderful recipe. Dear viewers, you are watching National Cuisine on Kazakh TV. See you next time. Cook with us.